Hey guys, my name is Jonah Manzano. I'm a singer songwriter based in Sydney, Australia. So today is the 6th of March 2022. Say what? So I'd like to talk about this most covered topic on the internet, which is how to get verified on TikTok. No way. Um I think last week um I got verified uh, on TikTok. Are you sure about that? Um, what happened was I got invited, you know, by their verification team. All right. So I actually want to make that clear that you don't actually apply. Aww. There's no form. Uh, it's not like Instagram, Facebook, um I think YouTube, you got to have 100,000 subscribers, then you can apply or they actually um, apply it for you. Um, Snapchat is a bit different. It's called Goldstar. Um, for Twitter, they have the application, of course. Uh, Thriller is also a bit different. You can apply to them. You can have a look at the website uh, and how to apply it. But anyway, today my topic is all about the TikTok verification. Uh, just the journey of from the beginning to the end, how I actually uh, got it. Okay, so it's actually very hard to get it because um, I started becoming a full-time musician um, and writing songs. Uh, since I lost my job, okay? Well, there you go. So, uh, thankfully, I actually uh, lost my job. And because of that, I probably won't be doing this. I mean, before, I was actually part of the band and all that. I was playing uh, in pubs, clubs, hotels, restaurants, birthdays, events. Um... That was just like, uh, it was like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, it was nonstop. Um, but then, of course, you know, you have to, you know, find a work Monday to Friday. And in order to do that, uh, to leave. Okay, so. But anyway, um, my point is in uh, March 2000. And March 2020, I think, that's when I started, you know, releasing some songs on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Amazon Music, and all that. Uh, it wasn't easy because there was these ads that actually pop up on my screen. Uh, it's called Spin Up. Uh, I think that's that's what it's called. Uh, it's telling me to uh, to actually purchase or subscribe on how to release cover songs I actually did not know how to do that before and because of that I was interested in doing that so I signed up um, I released uh, I think one cover song and after that I released you know original songs and so on uh, what happened then is I you know I became active on YouTube, became active on Facebook, um, on Instagram. I then uh, opened up Twitter, I think in May 2020. I used to have a Twitter account, but I totally forgot the password. I couldn't get it anymore, so I signed up again. Why I'm telling you this is very important because the journey that this verification of TikTok is not just given to anybody because they want to be popular, okay? Um, it's sort of like an award for a person, what they're doing, whether you are a musician, singer, songwriter, dancer, actor, um, maybe a person doing a podcast, uh, whatever. So the point is, the 
verification team will see that that you are making an effort and they can invite you okay as i said there's no form to actually fill up um it's either you have to know someone on tiktok uh, or you know someone that knows someone uh, it's a bit complicated, you know. It's, you can't just find it on the app. Um, there's no way you can find it. Um, that's why I'm saying today is the 6th of March 2022. Maybe in the future they will change it. Who knows? I don't know. All right, so on the website, it says here that a verified badge, I'm just reading on my screen, and that TikTok has confirmed the account belongs to the user it represents. So it's just saying that I am Jonah Manzano. I am not someone else claiming to be. Um, it appears next to a TikTok's user's account name in results and on the profile as a visible blue check mark. Oh. Um, I think we have this impression of having this blue check mark as. Um, a sign of symbol or popularity. Actually, it's not. Um, it's just saying that you are Jonah Manzano. You are not uh, a chimpanzee or I don't know why I said that. Or, you know, uh, slash whatever, you know. Um, it's, it's also a badge to say that this is for notable figures. Um, it's very hard to explain because it's going to be like conflict what I said before. Most of the people who actually get this obviously are public figures, celebrities, um, you know, um, musicians, as I said, singers, songwriters, dancers, uh, and so on. But um, a lot of people that I know, uh, they've been in entertainment business and they still don't have it. So it's not even about the followers. It's not even about the likes, the viewers that you have. Although, it could be because you are popular outside the platform. Maybe you have a YouTube account or Facebook account um, or you've been featured in news or media or national radio, then they consider that. Um, but signing up for Spotify, releasing some songs, it won't actually do it. You know, just just because you have a Spotify artist and say, hey, uh, but I'm verified on Spotify, it won't work that way because everyone can get it. Even my wife can sign up. I can sign up for her and to be verified on Spotify. It's crazy. Um... So, how I got it is, first, I actually got verified on Facebook, uh, which was two years ago, I think. I think it was before, after Valentine's Day. Uh, even that, it's very difficult, I'll tell you that. Very, very difficult. Uh, my experience of that is... Uh, Believe me, it's not easy on Facebook as well because I know a lot of you actually complaining saying, oh, but you know, in about one minute I got denied. Yes, I got denied too. And um, you just got to keep trying and trying and trying. The thing about Facebook is they just want to see if you are authentic and if you are making an effort of your page. You know, you got to make your profile picture more professional, having a website, um just cleaning it up, you know, um, just link all your social media accounts if you have TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, maybe get someone to actually um, create a website for you, specifically stating about you or your business, then it may add a point, but it's not guaranteed though. Um, so after that, Facebook verified me on in February 2020, I think, or 2021, I may, could be 2021. Um, I've got to double check that. So, um, and then I applied for GFE channel, 
for some of you who actually um, don't know what that is, is where you create um, stickers, you know, chief, you know, like when you attach it on Instagram and Facebook, those fun, interactive, they're not interactive, sorry, they're just fun stickers that you attach. Um, the thing about that is because I think I believe if I'm not, if I'm correct, Facebook owns Jiffy. Um, but if I'm not correct, just correct me on that. Anyway, so moving on. Um, so if, after that, I released more songs. I wrote more songs. I went live on YouTube. I went live on Instagram. I, um, I, I did a lot of uh, cover songs every single day. Uh, on everywhere, basically everywhere, you know. Um, it wasn't my purpose to get verified anywhere, anyway. So my purpose is to just share my song, my music passion to to all of you, um, because this is what I like to do. Apart from working from home, yes, I work from home, um, but I won't talk about that. Since I was, I think, seven, I started playing piano, and then 13 or 14, when my dad gave me a guitar, missing strings, but I said oh, I still like to learn the guitar. I learned D-A-G, I think, I believe. And then from there, I just uh, I just love the sound of the guitar and piano, and then I just learn it from home. I actually don't go out. I, I don't play outside and, you know, I'm not like antisocial, I just like to play music at home, you know. There was no internet at the time. Um, I don't even have a landline or a phone or a telephone. Our TV was just black and white. It was like small, really tube um, style TV where you can dial in, you know, one, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, from there, I... We have to move on to the current situation. Um, people ask me how you got verified on TikTok. I think I got verified uh, and, and I only had 5,000 followers. Um, but then a lot of people you see on TikTok, they have like a million, but they're still not verified. Um, the thing is, there's a lot of fake engagement on social media going around. And this is actually crazy because you can just open an account and just purchase some fake engagement and boom. There you go. You got like a thousand and millions of um, engagement. And it looks like, you know, you have a lot of uh, interaction, but, you know, it's hard to tell, you know, the fake engagement and all that. But there's a rule. There are rules in in TikTok that they actually um, um, applied, you know. But if you're trying to ver get verified in TikTok, just make sure that you don't have any one of those fake engagement and all that. Well, I'm, I'm telling you this because um, when you get to the point of the verification team approach you and they see it, that you have some fake engagement, then you have zero chance. Uh, but um, if you just show yourself outside social media and just be yourself, you know, you don't have to, um, you don't have to keep trying hard why I'm just getting five views or 10 likes, you know, on any social media. It doesn't matter. Just um, I only have 15,000 followers on Facebook, but still Facebook verified me because I am John Mazzano. I'm not the chimpanzee guy, you know. I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> so um, I get uh, DMs asking me how I got verified, and I kept telling them that there's no application form. So I made this video. You know, it's better to actually make a video so whenever someone asks me, they can just look this up. And I'm sure a lot of comments down below probably telling you that contact this person uh one two three four 
to get verified on TikTok, obviously not. They're not real. You know, you don't actually pay someone to get verified on TikTok. That's that's a no, no, no way. Uh, I paid nothing, zero. Of course, um, your talent, whatever you're doing, the music talent is not free, you know. Um, I got to invest a lot of musical instruments, my guitar behind me, I don't know if you can see it. Um, two speakers, monitor studio. I got this pre a Studio 18C that I got from UK. And this lighting in front of me, it's a ring light. It's pretty cool. And this blue light that you can change the color. Um, this Rode microphone, condenser microphone, which I use for recording um, to release on Spotify, Apple Music, etc. Um, so it's, it's not free, you know. I actually like to produce high quality content. Uh, in the beginning, I didn't have all this gear. I just started like a basic dynamic microphone. Dynamic microphone, they mostly they use that for uh, live stage. So um, anyway, so to end this, if you are trying to get verified on TikTok, just to make sure that uh, you just keep uh, creating content and just um, outside the platform as well and also if you if you're making if you're making uh, if you're a chef or a musician just keep creating content on tiktok and probably like um post them on instagram and on facebook everywhere and as i said before if you have a website it's good you know um but if you don't that's a matter um because it really depends on your niche if you are, let's say, uh, an actress or an actor. Um, try to probably go live and talk to your audience. And don't forget your audience, you know. Um, interact with them, you know. Just engage with them, you know. Make them feel like they're, them, they're, they're actually with you. You know, I, I look at my social media and I take time, probably 15 minutes, to reply to all, if I can, to reply to all my, to the audience. And if not, I look back from the past again. I know it's kind of stupid, like looking back a year ago and like suddenly, oh, this guy's commented. Because I try to look back and if I miss something, uh, if there's a value, I comment on it. Um, so there you have it. So I hope you actually learned something from today. And peace. <laughs>